All right, here's our next example. Uh, this is another thing that we can do to factor a binomial. So right now, uh, we've already learned how to factor difference of squares. And what we can also do is factor difference of cubes. And like difference of squares and difference in cubes, they're somewhat similar. Uh, there'll still be two terms, so one term here, one term here. There'll still be a minus sign in between. But unlike difference of squares, difference of cubes, the first term and the last term have to be perfect cubes. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. Again, you have a four little thing checklist there. Notice our answer uh, will be a little bit different this time. It's a binomial times a trinomial. So it's changed a little bit. And let's see if we can't learn how to do it. Whoops, uh, I forgot to erase the answer. Okay, so we've got this right here. And what we're going to try to factor is x cubed minus 8. x cubed minus 8. The first thing we always try to do is to factor out our common factor. There is only uh, one of the terms has a variable, so I can't factor out an x, and 1 and 8 don't share a common factor. Now, good news is I can go right to my answer, so a binomial times a trinomial. Now, you need to write down these steps. This is a pretty commonly missed problem, and the reason it's commonly missed is because students don't memorize how to get the terms, uh, and you just kind of have to do this. If you have difference of cubes, so perfect cube here, 8 is a perfect cube and there's a minus sign in between. The way it works is you're going to take the cube root of the first term. The cube root of the first term will be the first term in your binomial. To get the second term in your binomial, you take the cube root of the second term, sign included. So the cube root of negative 8, because we're taking the cube root, we can take the cube root of a negative. Unlike square roots, you can't take the square root of a negative and get a real number. So our binomial is going to be x minus 2. So cube root of the first term, cube root of the second term, sign included. All right, to get our trinomial, we work only off of our binomial. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this x, the first term of your binomial, and square it. x times x is x squared. So again, first term of your binomial, square it. Next, you're going to multiply these two terms together x times negative 2 is negative 2x, and then you'll change the sign. Fancy words, you're going to take the opposite of the product of the two terms of the binomial. But multiply them together, change the sign to get the middle term of your trinomial. Lastly, you're going to take the second term in your binomial and square it. So that is how you factor difference of cubes. As you can see, we have one term that is linear and one term that is quadratic. So I would need to check and see if this is factorable, but take a little hint from your teacher. If you factored out a common factor at the beginning, or you could not factor out a common factor at the beginning, this trinomial will never be factorable. There are not two numbers that will multiply to give me four that will add to give me two. So don't waste your time on that, and that's how to do difference of cubes.